Okay, we are going to uh, go through census site and I finally figured out how to get um, data downloaded and formatted properly so that uh, ArcMap does not blow up when you try to do the import and the join. So this will be somewhat of a review from yesterday. We start with geography, census.gov, geography, tiger. We are looking at tiger line shape files. This is the easy part. We want 2010. We want to download using web interface. We are going to look for block groups. I would recommend for a number of you who are working in Seattle and maybe some other cities, uh, no, don't go any finer detail than block groups. You'll wind up with a lot of data and um, there's actually less data when you get down to the block level because they uh, redact some of the data for privacy reasons. So block groups, submit. We're going to Washington. You can type a W to shortcut down King County, K to short up, uh, no, sorry. We only want block groups from the 2010 census. Again, we're going after the shape files at this point only. That's the first order of business. So King County, it shows up down here as a zip file and we've been through how to um, extract those and put them in the right place. So I've done this exercise uh, previously today, so I won't go through the extraction and placing things in the right place. Um, but let's just assume that all went well and you put it in the right place. And uh, it the, the shape file with the block groups for King County will be available to you after you do that correctly. And it's going to be available in ArcMap. So hit the back button after that. Now we're ready to go after data. So the data tab, go down to American Fact Finder, Advanced Search, Show Me All. And the workflow here is um, kind of important and kind of not too intuitive. But here's what we're going to do. Click on Topics first over here on the left side and the first couple of things you want to do uh, this the topics choices you make here will influence the tables the data sets that you see later on the idea is to there's a lot of data and the idea is to narrow it down as much as possible so one of the first things that I have found is to uh, go down to here to data set and I'm looking at 2010. Uh, we have these five-year estimates, three-year estimates. There's a lot of intermediary data that um, you may or may not be interested in, but this is what I looked at. Um, 2010 SF1, that's summary file one, 100% 1 data. That's not data thinned. This is all the survey, census survey results go into these data tables and it shows you there are 771 items available. So click on that and you start seeing um, in the background here you start seeing whoops you start seeing tables that are available for you and um, the idea and at this point there should be 771 that's way too many so let's keep narrowing things down let's say you are interested in I think you can um, narrow things down a bit by looking only for tables so look under product type detailed table that will take you down to 333 choices let's shut that down now we're ready to get down to business and um, look for people let's go to basic count estimate um, different types of categories. These are all about categories 
of data that are available to you. So I'm going to go with age and take a look there. Shut that down. And now we should have, according to the last window, we should be looking at um, 144 items to choose from. So now it is time to close this down, go one level down, and look under geographies. That's where we get to specify the block group level of uh, detail that we downloaded earlier in the shapefile. So let's click on geographies. Give it a minute. Now here it, let, we want to make sure that you that we select all geographic types. Most requested will only get you down to the census tract level and we don't need that. We were, we're looking for a block group level of detail so give it a minute to think and first thing you notice I, so I clicked on all geographic types first thing you notice is that this is kind of an overwhelming list of items um, geographic items to choose from the grayed out ones are unavailable to select um, and you can spend some, some time going through this I've actually done a little bit of work and there's a numeric designator that's used for block groups it's 150 so if you type 150 to search within the list we just saw hit go and scroll down until whoops we see this highlighted block group so I selected that it'll give me a further choice in a minute we are ready to go down to Washington again I could have typed a W to hit that you have to keep going until you see a little box that says select so King County it's almost ready it says add to your selections but there's no selections yet until we do this all block groups within King County Washington add to your selections okay so if you look over here in this selections area these this is how we've whittled down the data that we have to choose from so far um, data set detailed table the category and the geography we're ready to shut down the geography section and start looking at the tables that are available to us to download and there still are quite a number um, there are let's go with uh, this one you can actually look if you click the little I button these are all from the 2010 census summary file 1 hundred percent data set that we specified earlier you can click on the I button it'll pop up a little window and show you the data that are available in that table that you're thinking of downloading make sure it is really what you want so that one is one that looks interesting to me in fact that's the one I downloaded earlier and set up in ArcMap so I'm gonna click on that and each it's important to note that if you are interested in multiple ones of these tables you can click multiple times but you'll have to download the files separately in order to um, to get them so we have made a selection we are all set to go down here at the bottom we have some options for viewing and downloading first of all we'll take a quick look and um, the table the table that they're showing us here is arranged actually completely opposite of how it will be when we bring it into Excel um, in this table it's showing um, individual block groups in column headings here and rows with the different age categories but uh, so when when we actually do the download that will be flipped we'll have um, in each row will be a block group and the columns will be the different age categories here so that's a quirk of uh, the display that um, you just need to be aware of 
So click on download when you're satisfied that this is what you want or you can modify the table. So click download. Um, don't fool with Excel or any of these formats. They won't work. There are too many columns or too many rows or both um, to, to be able to uh, uh, make that useful for us. So we want data and annotations in a sim single file. Another useful thing to include is include descriptive data element names. So we click on that, click OK. It prepares your file and then click here to tell it to download. And as before, it'll take a moment, download it as a zip file, and it shows up down here. So I am going to pause this and we're going to pick up with preparations in Excel of the data table, uh, the demographic table that we just downloaded so that I don't get on, end up with too big of a couple of videos. So part two will be Excel preparations, very, very important to format the data properly from that we just downloaded here, getting it ready to get into Excel.